Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a bit of a different video and I thought I'd do like a yearly roundup of what happened and what I went through and things that I did and achieved last year. So I thought it would be like a nice little roundup of the year. I have been meaning to film this since end of December and I've had all these things wrote down that I wanted to talk about. But as you know, January was a very, very stressful month for me. I'm doing a master's at the moment in health psychology and clinical skills. And January was just cray. January was cray. So this yearly roundup is going to also mention January at the end as well. Okay? Okay, let's get started. So last year I finished my degree in psychology, just single honours psychology. I got a 2-1, which I was absolutely over the moon about. And I graduated in November. And I didn't graduate with any of my friends because I had mitigating circumstances, which basically means that if I wasn't happy with one of my grades that I got back, then I could redo it and it wouldn't be capped to a pass or I actually had the option to redo it if I wanted to. So when I got my results back, I was 0.4%, so not even 1%, 0.4% from getting a 2-1. And because of that, it means I would have got a 2-2, and that was not something that I was happy with. And because I had mitts, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have mitts. This is why I put mitigating circumstances in in the first place, because I had a feeling that I wouldn't be 100% happy with my dissertation grade, because of everything that I was going through at the time, which I'll get onto in a moment. So yeah, I redid my dissertation, well I just edited some bits and resubmitted it. So I managed to get that from a 52% mark to a 62% mark, which meant that my overall grade went up to a 2-1. So I obviously graduated with a 2-1. Um, I'm now a Bachelor of Science, I think it is. I don't know, I think it's science. <laughs> I should really know that considering like I've just done a three year degree on it but you know so yeah I graduated in November you'll have saw all my graduation pictures I have done a little video if you want to see it below of all my graduation pictures I went with my mum and my dad and it was just amazing the venue was beautiful and it was just it was just amazing honestly it was so good so the reason I got mitigating circumstances and this is me being completely real with you here is because I end up seeing a counsellor I was not in a good place um I will be doing a video on this if you want me to, let me know, like give it a thumbs up or comment below. I've had people asking me to do a video on my mental health and stuff like that because I have mentioned it briefly before in vlogs and stuff. Um, so yeah, I ended up going to see a counsellor, it's not something that I'm ashamed of or um, ashamed to share with you at all. Back in year one, like in year one of, of uni, I saw a counsellor once and I was so ashamed, like so ashamed of the fact that I'd got myself so low and to the point where like in year one I didn't want to leave the house and I was just in a really bad place in year one, um, like the end of my first year of uni and I ended up seeing a counsellor once and after that I wouldn't go back again because it wasn't the best experience that I had. Obviously it's really hard and awkward meeting somebody for the first time and then having to like open up about what's bothering you to a complete stranger that you've never met before. So and I also didn't know what was wrong with me. I didn't like I didn't know what it was that was making me feel so depressed and so down. And the same kind of happened in third year apart from it wasn't that I was feeling down like there was a lot of things that that were making me feel down a lot of things that I needed to change and I have changed them things and people in my life and stuff like that and and second last year when I was feeling really, really low um oh god I don't know how I'm going to do a video on this because it gets me emotional just for you talking about it but yeah um I was feeling suicidal and I knew I wasn't going to do anything like I knew I wasn't going to kill myself um, but it was the thoughts that were scaring me and how stressed I was um, and just how low I was again I was leaving the house this time I was still going to work and stuff whereas in my first year of uni I, I ended up not being able to even do that so yeah I now know that I need to be more prepared 
um, when it comes to assignments and stuff and handle my stress more because when I don't handle my stress that is what's happening like that's what happens to me when I don't handle it so this is why in January I just step back from YouTube because I was not getting myself in that place again nothing is worth getting yourself in that place again nobody nothing not YouTube not a boyfriend not family friends nothing at all um so yeah <laughs> I hope so I going on a tangent there about my mental health, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm so much better now. Um, thank you for everybody who have opened up to me on Snapchat about their mental health and stuff like that. And obviously I can relate. Obviously I've been through stuff. I had like depression. Um, only mild depression. I mean, I say only. That's still bad enough as it is. Like, I don't know. I think I just compare myself to the people that have it worse than me. And I think, oh, well, I'm not that bad kind of thing. But it was still bad. I'm just digging myself a hole here. Basically, it was just a really hard time. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous about talking about this. This is why I haven't done a video on it yet. Because I'm nervous about how people are going to react to it. Because I have had... Do I tell you this? I'm going to tell you this anyway. I have had a YouTuber that I've I've ranted about her, about her before. I can say it's a she. Um, I've ranted about her before being really nasty to me. But... She also has mental health issues um, and is diagnosed with stuff as well. And when mean when she was... Oh, can I say this? Oh, do you know what I'm going to say it anyway? Why should I be protecting people that are horrible to me? Um, she was bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and bugging me to do a collab with her. And I didn't want to do collabs because I didn't want to add any extra stress on me thinking I've got a deadline with YouTube as well. I didn't want to have any of that which is why I have not been doing collabs when people have been asking me from other people as well. But then it got to the point where she was asking me so many times, that was starting to stress me out. And I said to her, like, um, I don't want to do a collab because it stresses me out and I don't want to feel like I have a deadline for YouTube because YouTube is my fun place. Like, uni is where all the deadlines are at. I don't need to have deadlines with YouTube as well. Um, so, obviously, I explained all this to her and I said to her, like, I just can't handle it. I can't handle having a deadline, so I don't want to do any collabs. I'm not doing it with anybody. It's not to you, personally. It's just I don't want to do any collabs because I don't want to feel like I have to be doing stuff when it comes to YouTube, if that makes sense. And she turned around and said to me that what I was going, what I was going through was nothing compared to what she was going through. And I only had depression where she had this and this and this and this and this and this and she made me feel like like I think it's hard and it was really hard for me to go to the counselor in the first place so for me to go to the counselor sorry my hair's still wet so it's like got a little cut out <laughs> but yeah when I, oh, it was just I'm not even going to talk about it anymore but she wasn't very nice and don't let anybody think make you think that just because your mental health isn't as diagnosed as what they are and they've been diagnosed with more stuff than you don't make you like don't let them don't let them make you feel like what you have doesn't matter because there's other people that are worse than you yes there's other people worse than you but there's also other people worse than her do you know what I mean you need to embrace what it is that you're going on in your life you need to embrace that and deal with that and not have other people say to you, well, well, you've only got mild depression. Sorry, it just annoys me so much. <sighs> There's like so much stigma around mental health to begin with. And then you have other people who have mental health giving you like stigma because your theirs is worse than what yours is. There's no, it's no competition. I don't want hers to be worse than mine. And I don't want mine to be worse than hers. There's no competition. I just wish none of us had it. All right. Moving on. <laughs> before I start ranting, I think I will do a video on this, but just before I start ranting on all that. Yes, I've overcome my depression. I'm so much better now. <laughs> just to put that plain and simple. Which um, links on to me moving back to my mum's house. So I've had a lot of you asking me, like, when I did move back to my mum's house, are you and Blake okay? Have you broke up? Um, is that why I've moved back to your mum's house? No. The reason I moved back to my mum's house was because of the depression. Um... Being at my mum's house, even though I'm at Blake's like majority of the time, like for instance, I've come back to my mum's house on Monday, it's Monday a day, and the last time I was here was Tuesday last week because I was just sleeping at Blake's house, um, 
that many times in a row. So me and Blake are fine, me and Blake are fine, we, like we always are fine. Um, we always get through it, whatever it is that gets thrown at us. But I feel mentally in a better, stable, clearer place and a more homey place when I'm at home with my mum and Millie. That makes sense. Like this is better for my mental health for me to be here. It's more of a pain in the ass because I have to travel back and forth between houses and I'll have things here and things there and which is why I ended up moving into Blake's in the first place because obviously I was there all the time. Um, but no, I, I'm, I'm better here and that's why I moved back to my mum's house. So thank you so much for all of you that were worrying about me and Blake, we're fine. Um, it was just mentally I needed it and I've been fine since, like ever since I overcome it and then moved back to my mum's house, I've been fine. January was, it was a big test but I'm being fine. <laughs> I turned 22 in December, last year I had grey hair, can you remember that? That was like really really daring of me. Um, I'd been driving for a year um, and I had my car for a year and um, I've made new uni friends which are absolutely amazing and that is one thing that I changed massively to overcome my depression and one of the things that was making me more depressed at the time was the friends that I was surrounded with so they've gone I've gone, finito, not interested anymore. <laughs> when you have a friend or friends that are bringing you down and causing arguments, causing problems, causing dilemmas, shit staring, making things up, when you're, when they are doing that, when you are openly suicidal and they know that and they know that you're going through them things and they still do that and make it even worse and then sit and watch you fight with other friends from problems that they've caused without you realising that they've caused it. They are not welcome in your life. You deserve better. I deserve better. So finito, good riddance and I've been a million times happier since. A million times happier. We also reached 5,000 subscribers which is absolutely amazing. Oh, I just can't believe how many there is of you now which then prompted me to make the Loosest Ladies Facebook group which you will know if you are part of. If you search on Facebook and click join I'll accept your request and this is basically for anybody who likes my channel or just likes makeup in general. We all chit chat to each other and talk. I put polls in the Facebook group which then decides which videos you're going to see so it's very very beneficial if you really, really like my channel because then you can go and vote for exactly which one you want and which video you want to see and ask me questions. I talk to all of you on there anyway, um, on Snapchat as well. So I opened my Snapchat to all of you. Um, well, I didn't open it, it's still like a friend Snapchat. So I have to add you back kind of thing. But I talk to all of you on Snapchat as well. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So if you know, I left Glan last year, I worked for Glan Cosmetics. And I left them in January last year and just carried on working for newer partners because I did have two jobs whilst working for Galan and newer partners. So I left Galan so I left Galan so I could start working for newer partners um, and do more hours with them. I am now on hold with new partners and this happened the end of December. Um, my last shift was like the 1st of January and I have gone on hold to basically I'm still employed by the company and I can go back anytime that I want. I'm just taking a break and it was well needed in January because January was just like the worst month ever, 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 ever. Although I have had two results back from Masters and one of them I got 62 which is like um, the second from top so like there's three different grades at masters you can have like a pass merit and distinction so 60s to 69 is your merit so I got two merits I got a 62 and a 65 I'm waiting for results to come back this month which is going to be very, very scary I had like the worst month ever in January so I'm hoping that my grades are going to be okay I also went to see Beyonce last year which was absolutely amazing I got the gold circle tickets and she was just phenomenal, absolutely stunning. I can't believe she's pregnant with twins now, like how crazy is that? I've been attending some blogging events last year as well, or oh, slash this year, the past couple of months I've been going to a couple of um, blogging events, which is really, really, really fun. It's just a shame that like they're normally always in Newcastle. I did get invited to one in Middlesbrough, which is where I live, 
and it was right in the middle of all my deadlines so I couldn't go. I've been invited to quite a few recently that I haven't been able to go to because it's just been too far away or I've been at uni or I wouldn't have got there on time. And the last month <laughs> has, like I said, has been a really hard month, not just deadlines wise but family wise as well. There's been a lot of health problems. My mum has an appointment on Valentine's Day so it's already been Valentine's Day before you watch this video. And it's not really something that I want to go into at the moment until I kind of know what's happening. Um, but when I had my deadlines, I had my dad getting rushed into hospital, um, ambulances and all sorts. And my mum's now got appointments to see people in hospital as well. So I'm just fingers crossed that everything's going to be okay. And it's just been a hard month, <laughs> this past month. So I have missed you a lot and I am back now. But if I do dim and dab between three to two to one to no uploads then it's just because life and uni just getting in the way so i apologize for that but if you subscribe and if you follow me on our facebook group lucy's ladies then i always keep you updated on what the crack is in there okay okay thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to hit subscribe join our facebook group like i've mentioned i upload wednesdays fridays and sundays and i'll hopefully see you in my next video bye guys